Yeah, he likes that. That's good. Um, there's also a blaze there. Another blaze here. Okay. Okay, here's another nice, there's a nice blaze right there. Top of this hill right here. About the crest of it, and now it's like flattening out. Oh, there's an iron rod. Okay. Okay. So now I no longer own to the center of the road. These are well marked, this line, and it also runs the top of the cliff. I think to the right is what I am buying. And that is another nice big one inch piece of rebar. Hey, Dad, you want to see where we are on the map? Hey, Blue. Here, come here. We're going this way. We're down this hill? Yeah, we're making a sharp right. How am I going to get down there? Is it too steep? Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. All right, Dad's going back to the left. There's no real great landmarks here. Mm -hmm. I think they were tying orange ribbons when they found the mark. And I think these things, I mean, here's the thing. There's a nail. All right, so we're coming out on the traveled way again. What trees with ribbons? What are these representing? Stone on end. Why don't you guys put a stake in there for me, you know? How do you mark that? Is that stone on end? I mean, well, that would mean triple basswood tree would be over here. The thing about dogs is they'll stay with you if you're moving. As soon as you stop, they get bored. Go find dad. That's much easier going. Look at you, Mr. Muddy Feet. Oh, there's dad. Let's see if he makes a left. Is he gonna make a left? I told him to make all lefts. Nope. Nope. I think I caught him. Yeah, here, this is left. Oh, I, go down that way? It's left. I, I want to ask this guy if he can put a couple pins in for me, but. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm buying this. Some freaking developer would be sticking. They probably stick a house there. They probably stick one there. Because that's all they want to do. Like, what's the minimum lot size for a house? So here, we can do, we can just take trails back. Is this Jeep run? Um, it could. What's this from? Those are uh, shipping container pieces. Oh. You know what I've done with them? Like, if you go over them with the steamroller, it gets the ribs out of them. I don't know. Can you do that? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm telling you. That's yeah, and then and then they're actually flat metal at that point. I mean, they're not perfect, but it's decent depending on what you're doing with it. Well, that seems like nice property. Yeah.
I noticed a little bit of trash when I was walking around. Who does stuff like this? All right, it looks like I got it all. At least it was all in that one spot. Is that a mitten? honeybee activity I have here. There's tons of them. Look at those guys. This is pretty neat, huh? Look at the water in there, crystal clear. What do you think, Blue? I like when they build stone walls to serve as a property marker because that will last pretty much forever. property off my neighbor a couple months ago now and I had to have a survey done because we did a subdivision kind of um, you know the town road divided the property but it was still one lot so it was a subdivision a lot of it was marked out really good and the surveyors did a great job marking you know like 
showing the marks on the survey map. Some of it wasn't marked out at all. So we are going to put some pins in. So what do those numbers represent? They represent the points on the survey map? Yeah, these are our control points. So okay. they're not shown on your map. So okay. 22. This is just one of our control points. Okay. Robot on 21. Yeah. And back sight. 22. 22 if you want. Or if you can even see. Yeah, you can see it obviously. Yeah. Let's look for the stone on end really quick. That stone on end should be right there. Yeah, I was looking for that. I didn't... That's yeah, why I so, love I'd rather have a rod and the, I mean, because a stone is like nonsense, really. You know, everything's a stone. It's right in front of this tree. Okay. So it's. Oh, yeah, it has triple blade. Yeah. yeah, I think this is why I. That's weird. Yeah. That's that works. Is this a corner right here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. So yeah, I guess there's three blazes. So. Yeah, right here. Car. Yeah, okay. Yeah, even blazes. I mean, that's an easy way to mark stuff, but still, it's a temporary. It is, and yeah. over time, that stuff like fades. And you know, if that red wasn't there, you'd walk past that a thousand times and never notice that. Yeah. You know, if they cut them deep, they'll stay. But that's not that deep. Yeah, you know? but like property markers should stay forever. That, and that, I mean, the blaze doesn't actually mark your corner. Yeah. It just—it's it's looking it's a at witness. your corner. Okay. It's a witness post, really, is it? <laughs> All right, you guys, just stay where I can see you. Good boys. And yeah, they're being good. How's the road, Andrew, getting in there? It's... It's okay. Just just bring a four wheel drive. Yeah, it's okay yeah. for. It. Don't bring a Corvette. Just bring. Yeah. You know, okay. I'll leave my Lambo. We'll, yeah. We'll, yeah. Leave, we'll leave our Lambo survey. Drive. Yeah. We'll leave that. <laughs> just, I've been graveling the road. Um, I'm almost done. The one neighbor's giving me a hard time about putting gravel on my right of way. Why is he giving you a hard time? I don't know. She's just didn't want me to do it. <laughs> the road's pretty flat, so it's not a huge deal. Yeah. But she doesn't want gravel on it, and she gave me a cease and desist letter, and then oh, like. Geez. I, oh yeah, no, I can. And then I, she do that? I hired a lawyer and to just pretty much send him a letter, like, no, look, he has every right to do what he's doing. So, yeah, but dude, that's why would she go to that extent? The people are pissed about right of ways. I have a lot of right of way stories that are just, you know, even this guy. I mean, that guy was giving me a hard time once. Uh, I tried to buy the first piece of property, I almost tried to buy down the road here. People built a house on the right of way. Same thing, just like this lot. It was a 30 acres behind a 50 acre lot. Oh. right of way through there wasn't the surveyor defined very well just said easterly and they built some people built a house on the right of way sure. so you had to drive through this yard but anytime i drove through there that lady was calling the cops on you and it was, uh, so right of ways are like that people just don't really understand well that's what we always tell people generally if, yeah if they're upset about something that's happening you should have bought it yeah that thing looked based off that other prism down there yep. and then that measures angles yep. and basically it's positioning it's itself on your property so that it knows where it is yep get um, right on do you need a height of your backside too no i got it so my understanding is like so you pretty much start out at a point that you know is correct and mm -hmm. then based off of that you can measure angles and distances yep yeah, it's all angles. And I mean, the, the only thing to me that sounds scary about that is like if something is a drop wrong, it would magnify tremendously. What do you mean? Like say you had a... Your next a, back sight check is 261. 261 is your back sight. The angle is off by a de degree, you know, that's... But right, the, the stuff isn't off though, is so, it? Um, so if you're going to be... A, every station's going to have a little bit of air in it, like where you're talking like hundreds of a foot. Uh -huh. you know you're gonna have a little bit of air you, that's why when we run our control you always loop it and close it back into itself so you can see what the overall air for okay. everything is and then you average it out between the whole loop okay 
There is air, but it's it's minute. Observation the instrument's set up and knows where it is. I'm gonna tell it to turn and face your corner. Okay. So it's facing down. That thing's a beast. Yeah, literally. So we're ready to drill? We're ready to drill. Are you just going to point it at me, Jonathan? Yeah, I was just trying to save you the hassle. Can we push it this way a little how bit, much? you think? Yeah, look at how tenth much. Tenth and a half. Well, how much? Tenth and a half. What's a tenth and a half? About that much. About an inch? Yeah. So would you want it this way? Yes, towards me. Yeah, oh, I think you did it. That, that helped it? That, 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 moved it. that looks oh. a lot straighter now. Oh, yeah, yeah that I saw. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed that we're getting it within... Fractions of an inch. Yeah, I, we, I mean, we want it under three hundredths of a foot, so that's like a, about a quarter of an inch. I like that. No target. Target locked. The corners are real tight. And what was it on? It was on Andrew. Oh, really? Yeah, it was on him. It that's like weird. Looked at him. I don't know why. He's got nothing reflective. The watch, probably. Yeah. Oh yeah. Should probably. I not? Should I hide that? Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> now it's on him. All right. Give it. Give it another little no, smack no, this way. No target. Target. Yeah, look. No target. I think that's it. good. It's re it's pretty close now. Observation okay. Story. That one's done. Cool. That's good. Yep. All right. Let's get some dust down around. It. Yeah. The I'm just going to make my way back out to the trail. Okay, I like that. That is set completely perfect. Marked in a manner where that should stay there hundreds of years. Need stuff cut or is it just maybe? You can... This stuff. No. Yeah, all right. Can, I could bend trees out of yeah, the way. No, let's cut. Let's... Target 
They're being good. Give her a couple wax, just like this one. I mean, you just... Oh, all right. It's, it's moving, you know, but yeah. I can. It's got some wiggle, obviously. Yeah. Since it's got... Yeah, that looks great. Okay. All right, so we can update the map to show like iron rod set. Yeah, it'll okay. say iron rod set at those at those two corners. Okay. That thing's not going anywhere. I mean, it's... What do you got? Trackers on them? Oh uh, yeah, that one has the tracker on him. The That's tractive it. is the best one I found. Huh. The five is junk. I mean, it kind of worked, but. Is that a Weimar Rander? No, that's a lab. It um, is a lab. Everyone oh. always thinks he's a Weimar Randa. I yeah. guess they breed him to, with the Weimar Randas to get that color, but yeah. they're still considering him a lab. Because he looks so, he almost looks a little silver. Yeah, he's so. a, a silver lab. I mean, oh. some people say those aren't real labs. <laughs> uh, he did come with papers saying he's a lab. But... Wow. Yeah, cool. I'm very happy about that. Cool. Is, is there Great. any other marks we should mark, or that's probably? I guess Wait. we could look at that map yeah, real quick. Yeah, let's just look. And yeah. See. So we are, We're that's here. here. Set the, well, this one. Would that be in the middle of the road? It is in the middle of the that's road. That's an issue. Um, I Could can, we hammer one in flush or does that not make sense? You can do that or the other thing to do is to set one on the line. So just to the side of the road. Okay. You can do it either way. Yeah. We either do it like. I'd, I'd rather it be. Dead on. Re representing a corner than, a, than close uh, to a corner. Because if it's close to a corner, people are going to think it's the. The actual corner, yeah. Right, right. Did that one and, and that one. Yep. There is another corner that was kind of the important one. Because, all right, so that, I have like an L here. So my property goes straight that direction and straight this direction. So everything this way is me and everything that way is not me. TVs are nice and all, but it's like if you're bringing a bunch of stuff, like you got either got to tie stuff down really well or tie down baskets. Or it looks like this is 16 grand. This this guy in front, this thing you're using here. Yeah, that's probably about right. Okay, well, he was telling me it was 60 grand. I thought this was 60 for the S5 for the whole setup. The S6 is cheaper. Is the X S6 better or worse? How about like this Northwest Instruments for four grand? It's a total. Okay. I mean, it looks like the thing you're using. This is a complete on site survey solution for construction and survey professionals. This is also your project was done on state plane coordinates. So, like, theoretically, I can give you the coordinates of that pin. Uh -huh. And they're the true location. And you could have, like, you could just have that data. You could plug it into like a GPS unit or something that would walk you to it. Really? Yeah. I mean, you guys probably get called to like people when they're having disputes and stuff a lot too, right? That's one of the biggest things. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put the rock on this side of it. 
and push it this way. How much? Uh, about, probably about that much. Oh, so. So this That'll firm it up too. We'll just slam that in there. Yeah. It's better though, it's flush. Perfect. Cool, I like to hear that word. I guess, can we log it like rod, center road, hammered Cap flush? Yeah, we could say. Uh, Iron rod set. You face towards the, do you have a machete? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, okay, well. A notch, a yeah. notch, and a notch yeah. facing that. And we can do that on that tree too. That way you know this is where the okay. corner, it's pointing towards yeah. that. A big tree just to... that means your line is on this side of that tree okay if it's on this side it's on that side if they have a blaze on here and here it goes directly through the tree okay that's Be a blaze above it. Yeah, and it's a dead tree, so that certainly looks like a blaze. Yeah, it does. If you want to send it, okay. It looked like it was leaning, but it's fine. Yeah. Once you cut it off, it was fine. Yeah. You could see how straight it is just by how we cut it. In a hundred years, there'll be someone out here with a metal detector and surveyor finding that. Sweet. Yeah, cool. That's great. Well, we're all done setting these marks. So a lot of this property was marked out decently, but there was a few like like that's a corner. And the way this one inch rebar is drilled down into that rock, that thing should stay there for over a hundred years, no problem, not disappear. And another thing, if property touching you ever comes up for sale, buy it because chances are when someone else buys it, you know they're usually not buying it to do nothing with it. Like they, if I didn't buy this. And someone else did there they'd probably be sticking three houses up here right now and i definitely do not like neighbors because you know i grew up with annoying neighbors but it's not that it was their fault it was just that i did things that were annoying to them not that i was trying to you know if you're running equipment late at night or something or making noise or doing something then it's nice to have big distances between you and your neighbors so that's was real important to me here that everyone's thousands of feet away you know even if that someone had built right here you know they'd still be decent you know my castles over there they'd still be pretty far away but now it's that much more of a buffer <laughs> you think blue that look good all right, so that's good. I know where all the corners of my property are. That's usually pretty important. I mean, the other thing too, like these are pretty big lots. And if you're not doing anything like right on the edge, 
it doesn't matter that much anyway but it's still nice to know where those edges are all right well we're all done here let's go work on something else